to the Bellingham Whatcom County League of Women Voters interviews for candidates for the Charter Review Commission. The League is a nonpartisan organization. We never support or oppose a party or a candidate. My name is Joy Monjury, and my guest is Russell Whitby, who's running for the Charter Review Commission from District 2. We're asking all the candidates for this office the same three questions. Each candidate has two minutes to answer each question, and the answers are timed. This video of candidate Whitby's responses will remain on our website until after the elections on November 5th, 2024. Candidate Whitby, thank you so much for agreeing to this interview and for seeking to serve in public office. Our first question. Thank you, Joy, for the opportunity. Our first question is, what should voters know about you that differentiates you from the other charter review candidates in your district? Well, first of all, Joy, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the opportunity uh, from the League of Women Voters. Well, specifically engaged in an organization people should know about me is I have a, a servant of the people and getting involved in various uh, civic organizations. I've been here over 40 years uh, from Brooklyn, New York, and uh, I live in the Birchwood area. And so, and I've raised the family. Uh, the other thing I would say is the fact that uh, I've dedicated myself to Bellingham and it's all about, for me, making Bellingham better. Um, whether it be serving for over 10 years now at the Bellingham Technical College Foundation, or whether it be a block watch captain in my neighborhood, uh, various things, serving as a current, uh, one of the seven current planning commissioners for the city of Bellingham. Uh, I could go on and on, whether it be teaching at Whatcom Community College. Uh, I think it's important to get involved in various areas of your community so that people can see that you're dedicated. And with my 40 years of experience here, I've seen Bellingham change. And certainly being a part of the Charter Review, I can reflect some of those changes. I probably will go out on a limb here, Joy, and say I'm probably, uh, if I am uh, duly elected, probably be the first person of African-American descent to serve as a Charter Review uh, participant and member. So I want to say the fact that I might be able to bring some viewpoints that others in this community may not have or be aware of so that I see that as a benefit as Whatcom County continues to be diversified. I can help with that. You might say notion of experience and understanding. So those are just some of the things uh, I think I could bring to the Charter Review Commission. Thank you. Okay, question number two. Polls show Americans are frustrated with polarization in political dialogue. Tell us about an experience in which you worked effectively with someone with a different approach, different values, or different goals. Thank you. Yes, good question. Um, it's always difficult to work with, you might say, folks who have a different opinion or thought process than oneself. I think one of the areas I look to in that regard is always trying to find the middle ground, always trying to find opportunities to where you might agree to disagree or find hopefully that place of understanding. Um, I, I would say this, um, I'm going to call him out, <laughs> Mr. Uh, ben Elbas, who happens to serve on the current county council. Now, Ben and I are probably, I uh, might say, polar opposites as to our political philosophies. Um, I, but I think that one of the things is that we try to say, you know what, why don't we always act in a civil manner with one another um, and try to come to some agreement of understanding? You could say the same thing for folks like a Kathy Kirshner, who might be a little bit on the other side as well from where I sit politically. However, we need to come to some understanding to where we can at least get something done for the people we serve, you know. And it might say also uh, another person might be a John Munchler who may have a different opinion. But with all three of those individuals, um, 
we always incivilly to respect one another and yet find that place where we can meet in the middle or have understanding that let's forget about ourselves and our political philosophy, but do it for the people of Wapu County who we want to serve and be a part of success for them, not for us. Thank you. Okay, and your last question, what issues would you focus on during the charter review process if elected? Well, for me, I think some of the issues would be, number one, I would say joint ethics. Um, to me, I think the ethics should be expanded, the scope should be expanded uh, to all employees of Whatcom County. All employees of Whatcom County should have the same ethics and standards uh, that maybe county council or county executive may follow. Um, I think that would be something that we could incorporate. And I must say, as an accounting professor and financial advisor, I may want to include or make sure from a budgeting standpoint and an accounting standpoint um, that those numbers be available in the form of joint like a dashboard of sorts that any Watkins County you know, community member could at any time punch up or go to uh, like a, a Watkins County uh, dashboard to see how we're doing as far as budget. And so that we would know where our tax dollars are being spent and an according, you might say an accounting of where they are and how we're doing. Um, sometimes it takes, I know, a little bit of a longer delay, but I want that to be a little more mm, spontaneous and up to date. And I'm going to be working to look at systems so that we know where our dollars are, how we're doing. I think that that really it brings about accounting transparency. Uh, I think that we need that here in Whatcom County so we can see what's going on. And I think it would help to, if you will, maybe calm some anxieties amongst our community to know where their tax dollars, because it is their tax dollars, not Whatcom County's and those who are representing us. It's our tax dollars. And I think we should be able to see that at any given moment as soon as possible and up to date. So that's important to me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, once again, Thank you for giving the public this insight into your views and values. Viewers, please don't forget to vote on November 5th. Ballots sent by mail must be postmarked by that date and ballots dropped in the drop boxes must be submitted by eight o'clock on that day. And if you want more information, please go to votewa.gov. That's V-O-T-E-W-A dot G-O-V. And thank you. Thank you.